Hey guys, it's Terry. So great to see you. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the word energy and what it means. I mean, we hear it tossed around all the time and a lot of us may not know what it actually is. So what I thought I would do is just sort of break it down into bite-sized pieces, taking some information about the neuroscience and the quantum mechanics of it all. And through that process, I'm hoping that we can get a better understanding of how energy affects us as humans. So what is energy, right? Energy is the work that an electromagnetic force does. So it's how things move or change. And there are two types of energy. One is kinetic, and that's the energy that's already in motion. So think of a flowing stream or a river at a steady pace. And the second kind of energy is called potential. Okay, so that's energy that's at rest because of resistance. So you can kind of think of it like a clogged drain, right? As soon as the, the clog part of the drain <laughs> is cleared, the rest of the drainage can happen, yeah? So energy travels in light waves, radio waves, Wi-Fi signals, gamma rays, and it's always flowing and it's changing form based on how fast it's vibrating or if there's any resistance to it, right? So even though you can't see it always with your eyes, with the human eye, it's still there and it does exist. And humans, us humans, are made up of energy, which are these waves, and density, also known as matter, which is made up of particles, okay? So humans are waves and particles. These energy waves can penetrate the matter, the density, because they have no physical, tangible form to them. Now, we learned a couple things from Einstein's theory of E equals mc squared. That taught us that the molecules that make up the matter, the density, has a huge amount of energy. So what does that even mean? What does that tell us? It tells us that energy is considered an influencer because it has the ability to move or change something. And in humans, energy shows up as emotions, right? And an emotion is energy in motion. It's the work that's happening to change or move something from its resting place. So it's the completed response of an experience. Now, slower moving waves are survival emotions, right? Like shame, guilt, fear, anger, anxiety. And faster moving waves are thriving emotions like joy, abundance, connection, feeling whole. And each of us has our own electromagnetic field, and we don't always mesh with other fields, right? We can attract or repel other fields, just like magnets. Have you ever noticed that maybe you came across someone and you meet them for the first time and unconsciously you take a step backwards from them? that's your energy repelling theirs. Or what about the times where you meet somebody and you just feel so connected and you feel like you've known them forever? That's your energy attracted to theirs. We humans are so science fiction. So here is the super cool thing about energy and why it's so special. So on each wave, there is information of all sorts stored on it, okay? So it's collected on it. These energetic light waves hold information that is helpful to influence matter. Let me give you an example, okay? There's a light wave with information on it for thriving, let's say uh, abundance, okay? Now, since waves are able to permeate through matter, remember, slower moving waves, that's matter, that means if we give ourselves permission to receive the light wave with the information of abundance on it, we can become influenced to become more abundant. 
or whole or loved or worthy or whatever the frequency of information that is stored on that wave. So it's because energy waves have information on it that we can tap into the potentials and the possibilities of the future to start to create the life that we want now. It also means that we have the capability to clear out past programming. So that stops influencing us as well. Can someone please insert the angels singing? Hallelujah. <laughs> And it's because of the information that's stored in and on those waves that healers can influence your energetic frequencies and how psychics can get information off of your past, present, and future. So all they do is just merely adjust their personal frequencies and tune into whatever frequencies you are emitting. So just like a radio dial, like a radio signal and if I may add. It's also why your body holds and retains energetic imprints from past traumas that have had high emotional association to a physical or emotional action and why it's important to release that accumulated excess of energy buildup through somatic or body experiencing for clearing to release that programming. We humans are pretty cool, aren't we? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so hopefully by learning more about what energy is and how it affects us humans, um, you understand better about why energy work is so important, why somatic body uh, release is so important and how we can use those tools to become more whole and complete, abundant, loved, uh, feeling more worthy, right? Um, we can learn to receive these faster vibrating frequencies by understanding how to release those slower survival frequencies. And when that happens, that's when the world of possibility opens up and we start experiencing synchronicities, manifestations happen, and our density bodies become healthy and strong. And once you know how to keep and maintain healthy energy reserves, you are really aware of when you're leaking energy by how you're feeling. So it's really your emotions that indicate your state of being and what energy you're emitting. And that can be changed. Oh, thank God. Makes a sense? Hopefully this helps you understand more about energy, how it affects you, and how to sort of maintain it, right? I hope you enjoyed listening to all this information about energy and maybe now you'll have a different perception and maybe understand it better when someone starts talking about energy and how it affects you. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all of your support. I just love doing these videos for you guys. And you know what I'm always saying to y'all, right? Stay connected. Stay connected to your family and friends. Stay connected to yourself. And of course, you can stay connected to me by checking me out at terryhuberman.com. And I'll see you on the flip side.